Hello, I'm Martin Selig, and I'll stand on my head to sell you a building. Yes, I've got buildings, 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 and I'm letting them go for outrageous prices. I've got big buildings, round buildings. I've got a building shaped like a trapezoid, and I've got to get rid of them. I'm in over my head. These are prime, late model buildings, and they're loaded with extras. This one has factory air conditioning and tinted windows. Just take a look at these beauties. Plus, I'll throw in a blender just for seeing me first. Credit bad? No problem. So is mine. These are easy C-first bank financing with no payments until 1990. Go ahead. Make me an offer. Seattle used to be called Selig City. Now it's Sell It City. I've got to be crazy to let buildings go at these prices. I am crazy, and I'm up to my ears in debt. My loss is your gain, so come see me, Crazy Marty, here on Columbia Way, the only way, open till midnight every day. See you here. is almost live. Taped before a pre-recorded audience prior to the earlier actual broadcast being transmitted live on tape from a previous recording in a synthesized form electronically back time to simulate a live telecast of a tape program edited for television. And now, here he is. <laughs> Easter. Already in progress. Nice to see you here. Whoa, fun times in Seattle. Vice President Dan Quayle was in town this week. Well, it was quite a sight to see his motorcade. 30 motorcycles surrounding a, bra a black limo and quails hanging out the window going, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, boy. You know, it's been, a, it's been a real interesting week around here in the world of business and finance. I got some real insight into how high-powered business deals work. Martin Selig, who was in big money trouble, got $365 million for the Columbia Center, about twice what it supposedly was worth. Seafirst Bank gave him that much because that's how much he owed. That, that money would get him out of trouble. <laughs> what are they, his dad? I, you know, <laughs> it's like Marty has a big date for the prom and he can't afford the suit and the dinner. You know, Here you go, Marty. Can I drive your car too? Sure, this is a special night. Go ahead, be careful. That's the level of business these days, you know. You want more? Barry Ackerley says he's going to move the Sonics to San Diego unless we build him a new arena. So essentially, what Barry is saying is, it's my ball. You want to play? You play with my rules. Otherwise, I'm going to go play with those guys in San Diego because you guys are no fun. <laughs> That's right, the titans of industry. And the other big business news this week, Cal Worthington is leaving town. Oh. Right, you know. Now, what does it say about a place that it's not high class enough for Cal Worthington? <laughs> you know, I think we've got to make some changes. We put our heads together here at Almost Live, and we came up with some suggestions. We concentrated on a lot of different areas of the Seattle area. Uh, for example, Broadmoor. We started with, and I can just tell by looking at this audience, probably a lot of you live in Broadmoor, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> the richest neighborhood in Seattle, but it's kind of foreboding. It has kind of an unfriendly look to it because, yes, there's a wall around it. They've walled themselves in. So we suggested they make the following change. There it is. Turn Broadmoor into an amusement park there. Just bring in, bring in some rides for the kids. We think that'll do well. Yes, okay, good. So, some positive energy there. Also, they're, they're doing some construction right now on the Arboretum. They're putting in some bike lanes. We think they should go a little farther. Sh they should add the following. Bank turns to the Arboretum. <laughs> Get through there a lot faster. Also, public art is big in Seattle. You've probably seen in the, broad in the uh, Broadway area, they've got those dancing, those feet, those brass feet in the ground. You've all seen these, right? They've got the tango, the waltz, a lot of interesting dance steps. We thought they missed one, that they should add the funky chicken. If they could put that there, <laughs> we think that would add a lot. Finally, we thought the, uh, the, the CAP initiative was a real good idea, but we think that uh, you know, it's going to take care of the buildings downtown. Do we have a shot at there? The buildings downtown, but if we could make the CAP initiative retroactive, they are much more pleasing skyline, <laughs> don't you think? Much more pleasing. Finally, uh, our idea is if we could tow Mercer Island to the San Juans. Do we have that there? We have the tow. <laughs> yeah. A lot more recreation areas in the San Juans and more room for hydroplane races. So we thought that was, you know, a good idea. Well, you know, 
Also, our show, as you know, is now hooked in worldwide via satellite. We'd like to go a little, a little closer to home, though. We've got a link up with the Puyallup Fair that, uh, as you may know, still going on. Yes, I know it's, it's been a, yeah, a couple months since it's been over, but these people, they're going for that marathon, marathon roller coaster ride. They're into their second month. There they go. Into their second month on the marathon roller coaster ride. We're very excited about that. There they are. Yeah, we're very excited about that. We're also excited about the fall season here. King has got a package of tremendous shows, and we've got a preview of a particularly good one we'd like to take a look at right now. Coming to the programming lineup on King 5. <laughs> That's the latest and greatest from Madonna. It's called Cherish from the album Like a Prayer. Randy Scott with you this morning. Hi, how you doing? It's He's Seattle Radio's number one morning disc jockey. If you're in your car, thanks for the ride. It's 22 minutes past the hour. But when the air shift ends, his real job begins. DJ Cup. Come out. Maybe you should talk to him. Hi, this is Officer Randy Scott. At 11 minutes past the hour, 62 degrees outside, and now would be the perfect time to give yourself up. You don't stand a chance, so drop your gun and come on out. And if you give yourself up in the next five minutes, you'll get a pair of movie passes absolutely free. DJ Cobb, living life on the edge. Hey, what's happening? It's 19 minutes past the hour, 65 degrees, and sunny out here. Get away from me! I've got a job! That's up to you. You know, I used to have low self-esteem, too, until I began the new Nutri-Slim plan. After just three weeks, I've lost 45 pounds, and I feel terrific. Well, while you're thinking it over, listen to this. From 1986, here are the big sounds of Van Halen. <laughs> DJ Cobb, doing it his way. Hi, ma'am. This is Officer Randy Scott. It's about 12 minutes past the hour, and you were going 65 in a 35-mile-an-hour zone. I'm going to have to cite you for speeding, and that's $300. However, you also have one of our instant cash flash stickers on your back windshield, which is good for $450. After subtracting from your ticket, grand total is $150. Congratulations! Who's your favorite police officer now? Randy Scott! DJ Cobb, premiering soon. Be there! Okay, stay with us. We've got a great show and we'll be right back. Jazz masterpiece or discordant crap? You know, that's what I hate about football. It's so violent and ultra-competitive. Oh, you're right, man. That's what's so great about the Northwest. I mean, we go out, we play basketball, nobody keeps score. Non-competitive. Oh, it's yeah. Period, right? Thanks. Oh, man, thanks. I love this wheatgrass bisque. Mm. Do you really? You know, this guava nectar with a little bit of pumice sprinkled in it is really good. It lowers your heart rate. Oh, wow. Huh? Well, I got my heart rate totally under control. I'm using my new biofeedback watch. In fact, last time out, I ran all the way around Green Lake my heart beat only three times. <laughs> Great for my personal record, 1227 now. 1227? That's not bad for a guy your age. My personal best is usually between 1140 and 1145. But I'm not really a runner, I'm more of a sailor. Relaxing, no pressure. The other day I took two hours, went right across Lake Washington. Two hours? Would you have a headwind? 
I mean, if I'm lollygagging, it's like 40 minutes tops. Well, I mean, I wasn't trying to go that fast. Jeez. Well, you know, uh, it seems to me like a kid could go out there and do it in half the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised the Coast Guard didn't hunt you down and check your boat to see if it was abandoned. I wasn't trying for an Olympic speed record. I mean, I just want to get away from the competitive environment. You're right, man. You're right. Well, that's the whole idea of doing that Volkswagen last weekend, you know, for the uh, disabled children. That was great. I went out, I did uh, eight laps, got some great exercise, and I made $200 for a good charity. Eight laps? You only made eight laps? I made 11 on a sore ankle. Well, hey, man, that's the same morning I did that non-competitive triathlon, which I won, by the way, even though they don't keep track, you know. Triathlon, man, that's a real man sport. Oh, oh, excuse me, a real man sport? Mm -hmm. I think mountain climbing's a real man sport. I got this new equipment. I was just blowing by those other hikers like they were just standing still. What are you talking about? You were using equipment? Climbing? Are you kidding me? I do it barehanded, man. Free climbing. That's pure. I'll take you on any peak you want. Baker, Rainier, the backside of St. Helens, Glacier Peak. Oh, I think we're getting a little carried away. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right, man. We were just like, oh, you're right. We have to play basketball, you know. Just be <laughs> cool. Have climate? some hmm. Loser buys. What do you mean, loser? Nobody was keeping score. Well, I had the score in my head, and I was up 65-60 when we quit. What are you talking about? It was 64-59 the way I was counting. I was up by three, and you took the shot. What are you doing? Oh, that's a man from you, man. That's what it was. Studio amplification for Almost Live, provided by American Music. You're watching RNN, the reenactment news network. All reenactment, all the time. Good evening. Our top story tonight on RNN... A high-level government official is under investigation on charges that he sold classified military secrets to a Soviet agent. RNN has obtained this official-looking FBI-like footage. Hello, Yuri. Here is your briefcase full of top-secret military documents. Thanks, Bob. Here is your sack full of cash. Thank you. I certainly hope nobody is watching this illegal transaction. Boy, me too, Bob. That would sure be incriminating. It certainly would. <laughs> that just in. News reenactments coming up later this hour on RNN. Some airline passengers have a bumpy ride over Wyoming. <laughs> Hurricane Kirsten has hit the Gulf Coast, bringing high winds and some showers. And Pennsylvania has a new millionaire. All that and Tony with sports when we return. Hello? Hey, Steve, this is Bob. Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. I want you to hear something. I just got this new fiber optic phone system. It's so sensitive, they say you can hear a pin drop. Oh, cool. You want to try it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Well, what do you think? I didn't hear anything. What? Really? Okay, okay, uh, tr try this. Now, you must have heard that. No. What? Didn't hear that. You're kidding me. No, try something else. Okay, pal. Listen for this. You heard that, huh? Yeah, I think I, I think I heard something like a bell or something. Oh, no, it's just the washer going off. What? Okay, listen. Okay, listen right now. You want to hear something, pal? Hear this. How about that? I, it was, I, I heard something like a dog barking. Was that, was it a dog barking? No! No, it's, it's, it's really fuzzy. I mean, you... Okay, now I am mad, man. I'm paying 20 bucks a month for this system so you can hear a pin drop. You're sounding fuzzy. I'm just not okay, hearing anything else. Okay, pal. Okay, you want to hear a Try pin? Here's your damn pin dropping, pal. Here it comes. <laughs> a lot of 
of people complain about the high cost of dining and entertainment, but you know it's really not that expensive if you know the right places to go. Come on along and I'm going to give you John's tips on inexpensive food and fun. Come on. Before you begin, stop at any newsstand and freshen up with some cologne. There are free samples in all the better magazines. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Next, take a swing by the local supermarket for some hors d'oeuvres. They're free, mmm, and so tasty too. Now to the entertainment. You can find great bargains in video, live entertainment, and dancing, as long as you're discreet. And hey, music fans, you can pick up great deals at used record stores. Look at this, a quarter will buy Captain and Tennille, Gilbert O'Sullivan, the soundtrack to Shaft's Big Score, and for just one extra dime, the entire Chicago catalog. Next, it's off to the movies. Bring some popcorn from home and a nice folding chair. Then stake out a corner in your local video store. Set up the chair, just relax. They show current movies in a clean and heated environment. Look at this, big budget pictures for free. Now it's dessert time. Go to your local ice cream stand and for one dime you can buy a cone. Next, ask for a sample. When you receive the ice cream, give it a convincing taste test. Reject it. Then ask for another sample. <laughs> After 20 or 30 samples, you can build yourself the ice cream sundae of your dreams. Doesn't that look scrumptious? And for just one thin dime. There, now you see I've had a wonderful afternoon full of good food and entertainment, and I've spent less than a dollar. And now I'm looking forward to an exciting evening, but if you'll excuse me, I've got to freshen up now. Just a few tips to help you out. Now please stay with us because we'll be right back. You know, we were thinking the other day, the staff and I, that I think we all have our own personal milestones, our personal touchstones, if you will, that make us reflect back on oh, a loss of innocence. Just, it's amazing, though, how just one song, one song can just conjure up the feeling of an entire generation. Take a look. It changed the way we live. It changed the way we love. It was a song that rocked a generation. I remember the first time I heard Seasons in the Sun. It was the summer that I got out of college and I was driving through the desert and I heard that song and I was so emotionally moved that I had to pull the car over and absolutely stop. And I sat there and, and I cried. Oh, the memories. I became a woman to that song. <laughs> In the back seat of a 74 gremlin. Man, that song was like really an inspiration. I mean, without that song, I don't think Loverboy would have ever gotten started. Uh, you can really see the influence of Seasons in the Sun in, in our hit, Hot Girls in Love. Seasons in the Sun, a song that rocked a generation. Oh, starfish on the beach. Yeah, I think next week we might work on, what do you think, uh, Billy, Don't Be a Hero? Any other suggestions? The Candyman, a good one, yes. Maybe watching Scotty grow, I don't know. 
That's just about the power-packed comedy we have time for uh, this week. Uh, but if you'd like to be a member of our studio audience, because you guys, you have a lot of fun down here, don't you? <laughs> Listen to that spontaneous. What a, what a spontaneous applause. The number to call for tickets, 448-3795. Yes, there it is right there. And uh, now we're just about to leave you for uh, Saturday Night Live. Coming on next, the host is Kathleen Turner, musical guest Billy Joel. Maybe you'll sing Big Shot. I don't know. You know that, another one of those songs. Yeah. Another one of those songs. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun uh, to see you this week, and we'll be right back next week at the same time. So thanks a lot. We'll see you. Promotional consideration for Almost Live provided by Pizzeria Pagliacci, featuring traditional and gourmet pizza by the slice. Pizzeria Pagliacci, rated Seattle's best pizza. Promotional consideration also provided by your local Coca-Cola bottler.